So hey there everyone I am Anindam and today I am going to show you how you can build a scheduling agent with Agno Navy CI and cal.com So uh, I will be using Agno for the uh, agentic part so Agno is a lightweight library with which you can build multimodal agents and a lot of use cases and you can just uh, go to their docs and you can see a lot of examples as well and you can take the references and all all user guides here and for the llm part of things we will be using navy ci so navy ci provides you a lot of models such as text to text embedding models text to image models and uh, vision models and a lot of things so if you are building your next ai project feel free to give it a try and for the scheduling part i will be using cal.com which is an open source alternative to calendly and one of my favorite open source project in fact i have my own calendar on uh, cal.com so we will see how you can you know interact with this with our agent so let's get back to our notebook so first we will just install the dependencies and till it installs uh, we will go to the next step where we have to set up the environment variables so for that we will go to navy ci studio and we'll go to the api section and we will create an api key for this let me just name it agno demo and here we go we get the api keys here now i will just paste it here yeah here we go uh, next up we need the cal.com api keys so for that we will uh, go to this uh, link yeah and here you can see um, create an uh, api keys for yourself uh, so let's just create create one so just name it agno demo and we have the api key here i will copy it and paste it here so this is not a good approach i would say uh, i would rather suggest you to use this method where you can just you know add your secrets and all you have to do is you know create, uh, click this toggle button to have the access throughout your notebooks and for using that you have to just import that user data and just get that secret name this is pretty uh, good approach because we don't want to show our api keys in public and that is not safe as well so better to go with that but for the simplicity of this project i'm just you know putting it here and i will obviously delete that api keys after this demo so next up we need that cal.com event type id so if you don't know whenever you go to any event section like for example this 15 minute ev uh, event we we get an event uh, type id so there are two approach either you can go uh, get that from the cal.com dashboards uh, where you can see all the bookings and event types but uh, we will take the programmatic way to get that so for that i have already written a script uh, all you have to do is you know uh, use that api key but so as we haven't added that yet so uh, what i will do is you know it's not a good approach but yeah just for the simplicity i will just paste it here and i will just run this script and uh, this will you know print all the ids of the event that i have so let's just run this for once and here we go you can see that these are the three ids uh, of events that i have and next what i can do is i just take one of them for example i can just take this and paste it here and after that we will just uh, run this and it is done uh, next next we will uh, import the required modules for this project so we will be using the tools provided by agno and we'll use that cal.com tool that agno has you know given us and it is pretty useful and it has all those functionalities that we want uh, for this project and next up we have defined the instruction which is uh, really important for this because i was getting a lot of errors uh, because i haven't explained that functionalities well with this instruction so if you are you know focusing on another use case do keep in mind that you have to give proper instructions uh, here so for this i have uh, mentioned the steps for booking such as like check the available slots then create the booking using the function and you know what parameters you need to put here and you know 
also this all those prerequisites for this and you know few details here and next up we will just initialize the cal.com tools and models so for that uh, as we have already imported the cal.com tool and uh, we will just set the time zone which is uh, Kolkata time zone for me and I will set the API key of cal.com and the event type ID that we have already set previously and next up we will create the model uh, with Navius so for that what you have to do is uh, paste the ID that uh, model what you want to use here so for example I am using this model uh, metalama 3.1 uh, and the API keys and the base URL of Navius and we are good to go so let's just run this okay now we will uh, create the scheduling agent which will you know, do the heavy lifting for us so the agent I have named is as calendar assistant you can name whatever you want and I have passed the instruction that we have defined previously and the model uh, that we have defined here and for the tools part I have uh, passed the cal.com tools that we have defined in this section and tool choice as auto and markdown for better responses and we are pretty good to go here now the so finally we will just uh, create a function to you know book a call and run that so for that I have just defined today's date and tomorrow's date so first I will just check the available slots for in my calendar uh, for today and tomorrow and after that I will just print the response and where what it will do is uh, it will just take the information from this and it will just uh, book the slot and we will get an information I will also show you the dashboard how it works so now let's just run this so for this I just put this name as uh, Agno agent test and uh, email of studio one so let's just see okay as you can see it has a nice uh, logging system here and it has done the work now let's go to the cal.com dashboard uh, and the booking section I can see here we go uh, the meeting has created here you can see that uh, the collaboration is set you know 9 30 pm to 10 pm and this is the agno agent test that we have done so you can see how easy it is to set up and scheduling agent that does all the work for you you can do a lot of stuff you can check you know your availability you can reschedule you can delete meetings so i hope you like this video if you have any doubts feel free to let me know and i would really love to know what you are planning to build with this and thanks a lot for watching this video till the end see you in the next video bye